Howdy folks, this is an edited version of the video I just uploaded. Uh, edited because I got a copyright strike right out of the gate uh, from the BBC. I included a Doctor, Hu uh, Doctor Who clip at the beginning of the video and I included it because I thought it was interesting. Uh, he's talking about how when we're first told as children that the earth is spinning a thousand miles per hour uh, we can't believe it because we can't see it and we can't feel it. Uh, but then he goes on uh, to tell the girl, you know, as he grabs her hand, that he can actually feel the earth spinning at a thousand miles per hour and he can feel it flying through space at 67,000 miles per hour around the sun and the whole nine yards. Um, and then he goes on to say, and we're flying clinging to this spinning ball this tiny little world and if we let go and the tension rises and that's the end of the clip <gasps> oh dear what happens if we let go if you let go you'll allow yourself to see the pack of lies uh, that was fed to you uh, and us our whole lives uh, for hundreds of years uh, it's a pretty big stack of lies so let go and fall back down to the flat earth <laughs> and on your way down you'll notice uh, it's definitely not spinning at a thousand miles per hour or at all uh, you'll notice the horizon is flat and at your eye level uh, take a look at the sun and you'll notice it's definitely not 93 million miles away. It's much smaller and much closer than what we were taught in school. Uh, if you can see the moon, take a look at that and you'll see, well, who knows what you'll see. Uh, the moon is still a mystery to me. Uh, one of the videos I posted recently is a morphing moon uh, filmed by Casey Josh, a friend of mine in New Zealand and uh, he's also part of the fake flight exposure team and we are going to have proof of these fake flights any day now maybe even today so that's what I'm here doing with this video is asking your opinions your ideas uh, advice on how to expose real proof of fake flights other than just YouTube because YouTube has shown me already on a number of video on a couple of videos anyway that they can control things and it's frustrating and I want other avenues so yeah looking for some advice there uh, one thing I figured out is there is like a clown car of shills uh, they don't stop coming <laughs> so I've blocked almost 300 of them now and fighting right alongside the shills these days, we even have flat earthers. Uh, Mark Sergeant minions who believe these fake flights to be real flights and just being hidden. Uh, but apparently they can't do the math or the logic that it takes to figure out that they can't be real flights. So, if you guys are actually real people and not just shills like Mark, um, and you can't see all the BS that he's spewing in his interviews uh, please don't make any videos mirroring his stuff just sit back and let it get revealed by others <laughs> sorry had to be said anyways uh, yeah no pr new uh, flat earth truths or profound findings here uh, but I do want your advice and uh, your ideas on how to present this proof because definitely fake flights is a huge nail in the spinning ball uh, you can hear the air coming out of it right now and she will be flat soon and the whole world will know that we are living on a flat earth uh, and this is upsetting to some even some flat earthers um, because some flat earthers are making money on this and so they don't want it to be exposed too quickly there's still plenty of money to be had they want it to trickle out naturally as do the powers that be 
Uh, they know this is about to be exposed, but they have it set up on a timeline, I'm sure. So once it's exposed, something else will be happening as well to distract you from the actual truth. Anyways, give me your ideas. Thanks for tuning in, and cheers. Don't you know who this is? He used to be one of the best pitchers in baseball. Samuel Mayday Malone. I coached this kid down in Pawtucket in Double A Ball and up here with the Red Sox. He was one of the best relievers ever to play the game. Take it easy, coach. No, I mean it. He was the very best, as sure as the earth is round. You don't believe that, coach. No, you know, I never used to believe it, Sam, until I saw those pictures from the space shuttle. <laughs>